Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Gaming Network. I'm GenX, and in today's video, I'm going to show y'all how to get Windows 10 to stop spying on you. There's tons of programs, apps, and services that are running in the background of your computer that are constantly stealing your information, including your passwords, your email addresses, and all of the contacts of people that you communicate with over the internet. So let's take a couple minutes and show y'all how to get rid of that. When you guys are done watching the video, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know how I'm doing on my channel, you guys. I know a lot of you are checking out my videos on a daily basis, and I appreciate you and your support. Leaving a comment in the comment section allows my videos to reach a larger audience, which helps me grow on YouTube. Also, if this video helped you out at all, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's show you how to do this. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go down into the search and we're going to type in Windows Update. Then select Check for Updates. Once this window opens, go ahead and go down to Advanced Options. And then when you're on Advanced Options, go ahead and select Delivery Optimization. All right, once you're on the Delivery Optimization screen, what you guys are going to want to do is make sure that you turn off Allow Downloads from Other PCs. What this does is when you are updating your Windows that it takes information from other PCs on your network around the house to make your download a little bit faster. But what it also does is take information from your PC and sends it to other PCs. We don't want that. So we're gonna turn that off. All right, next you're gonna go back down to the search and type in Wi-Fi and then select Wi-Fi settings. Once you're on the Wi-Fi page, you want to go down to Hotspot 2.0 Networks and you want to turn that off. Basically what Hotspot 2.0 does is it allows Microsoft Windows to suggest open internet hotspots to you that they deem safe. This allows other people to access your internet through those hotspots. You do not want this. All right, next you're going to go back down to search and type in privacy. Then select privacy settings. Once you're on the Change Privacy Options page, what you're going to want to do is disable all of these unless you use multiple languages on your PC. You're going to disable every single one except for this one right here. If you only use your PC for one language, then you could just disable all of them. Basically, what these privacy options do is it allows Windows to track what apps you're using and also what you're searching so it can send you ads that are relevant to things that you want. You do not want any of these on, unless, like I said, you're using more than one language, then you can keep this one on. All right, next you're gonna go down into the search and type in inking, I-N-K-I-N-G, and then select inking and typing personalization privacy settings. Once you're on this page, you wanna go ahead and turn this off. What inking and typing personalization does is it tracks every single thing that you type on your computer. Passwords, email addresses, phone numbers. You definitely want this turned off, you guys. All right, next you're gonna go down to the search again and type in location. And then select location privacy settings. All right, once you are on the locations privacy settings, you're gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down and it will show you all of the applications that are currently using your location. If you wanna turn all of them off, you could just select that right there and it will disable all of them. But if there's one down here that you know that you use every day, like your weather, okay, and you want to know what the weather is every morning, then you can just turn them all off except for the weather. And then down here in the bottom right, it'll tell you your weather every morning. All right, and the last thing before you close out this location tab, go ahead and scroll down on app permissions until you see app diagnostics. On this page, you want to turn allow apps off and that will automatically turn off tips as well. What this is, is one more layer, you guys. If you guys didn't disable this one, it would still allow apps to access other apps in order to transfer information that you use on those apps. So disabling this allows one app to not talk to another one in order to steal your information. All right, and the last thing I'm gonna have you guys do is go down into the search and type in Cortana, and then right click the Cortana app and then select app settings. All right, once you're on the Cortana page, what you're gonna wanna do is turn app permission for microphone off, app permission for background app off, and turn runs at login off. If you're using programs like Cortana or Alexa, 
then you are sending everything that you say and do around your house to a Microsoft database that collects information on you. What they do with this information, I don't know, but they're doing it. So if you don't want them to do it, turn it off. Don't use things like Cortana and Alexa. Well, that's it, you guys. It's as easy as that to stop Windows 10 from spying on you and your family. Keeping your information safe, keeping your bank account safe, keeping your email safe. Appreciate you watching the video. If this video helped you out, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment in the comment section below to help me out. Appreciate it, you guys. Y'all have a great day. Remember, don't be toxic. Spread positivity. We'll see you next time.